All right, well, I made a little bit better testing unit here and went back to my uh, five magnet, uh, four pair of coil arrangement, which is the standard uh, Mueller arrangement rather than the Romero arrangement. And uh, I'm using air cork coils. You notice how sweet, uh, freely that spins. I've also got ceramic bearings here. You've really got to, good, you've got to get good bearings on this if you're going to get any, any performance out of it all. You're going to lose a lot of energy through friction there if the bearings aren't really, really good. Um, the circuit's another thing. If you're going to drive this, that circuit's got to be right. And um, I've studied a lot on the pulse width and how you fire off these coils. And I went to a standard, just Bedini SSG circuit here finally. And I'm just calling this a simple Mueller driver. And it's just a pair of coils. Just take one pair of your coils, use one coil for the trigger, one for the drive, NPN transistor, and it's just a standard Bagini SSG type of circuit, except I don't have a diode in here. Uh, and I, you need a big uh, cap on this side too, but it's very, very similar to Bagini SSG. And it's uh, just something I came up with here in June of 2011. Okay, what I've got here is just... Uh, a capacitor. It's a super cap with about two and a half volts on it. Uh, over here is a jewel thief circuit which runs off of a pair of these coils straight up. No bridge rectifier at all. Why it does that I don't know. Uh, over here is one LED that's got two pair of these generator coils in series. No bridge rectifier. I just wanted to show um, how that worked. I'm still working with the bridge rectifier idea and what's right or wrong about that, but let me start this up here. Uh, it starts just like a Bedini SSG. you got to give it a good spin to get it going. And there it goes. And that's the flyback right there off of the drive coil. And here again, you could put a battery right there between that and the plus rail and then swap batteries back and forth and charge with that. There's the jewel thief running up right there. Here again, no bridge rectifier, it's just going into the jewel thief in a certain way. It takes a pair of coils to do it, and I haven't figured out why that works. Over here is the uh, LED that's being powered by two sets of these coils. And here again, these, these have to be wired just right, and I don't understand that dynamic either. So there's a lot of learning going on here, but this little testing unit that I came up with here pretty good winner and uh, it's pretty uh, pretty decent. I found out you do have to use uh, brass or stainless or plastic or something here on these bolts, on a small one anyway, because it drags the rotor otherwise. So um, think about that. These are stainless steel nuts too and you want to get away from uh, anything ferrous except what's going on with the magnet area here otherwise it drags the rotor down. So anyway that was uh, that was my little uh, project on the uh, testing unit here. I'm learning a lot. There's a lot of conflicting information and uh, I'm still not seeing anything that's uh, 